to another one of my videos. Right, as you can see, if we take the carb top off, we'll uh, we'll have a look inside, and we've got automatically we can see we've got two different slides here. I've got the original one and an aftermarket one. That is coming out, and we're going to put a genuine Cayenne in there, I think. Okay, we've got a few issues. We've been out on our first test ride. It goes quite well. Uh, quite potent at the moment. There's a lot more in store. I think we can get a lot more out of it. At the moment, I've got problems with the clutch because that's really snatchy on the takeoff. It just judders. So I'm going to have to strip that again and have a look what's happening there. Uh, but we're getting a ticket when we drop back, dropping back off the revs on the overrun. It's revving high and then suddenly dropping down again, back to a normal tick over. And I think that is the uh, the slide. Where's my other one? Ah, there. So we've got a non-original KN slide and an original KN slide. Uh, this one's it's a fair bit old, but it's sat in a packet a long time. But I don't think it's ever actually been fitted to a carb. I bought it from Kawasaki City in Cradley Heath. So we'll be fitting this one and uh, seeing if that cures our returning back uh, to tick over and we don't get that overrun. <laughs> right, when you're running these big carbs like this, you've got to be very careful because your throttle pulley in your headset can be too small for this size carb. So I'm using a gear wheel on my throttle side, so that gives me more, more pull, I can actually run a bigger carb. But even though, because I haven't got it adjusted properly, as you can see, the carb's not fully opening. So we're gonna go up and adjust this, because I've got some free play in the cable. So by the time I've taken that out, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be good. Right, so we've took the free play, taken the free play out of the top here. So now we should be able to get maximum throttle when we fully open it. There you go. That's a, a bit more power on hand for us. All these little things help if you're make, making sure when you're building something that everything's operating correctly. see over here we've put a nice little bell mouth on the front of the carb here that's just pressed on aluminium bell mouth and uh, that should increase our airflow into the carb now the other thing we're going to add into is a negative venturi in the side panel now people are going to comment why don't you put a hole in the side panel well actually shaped flow is far better That's our negative Venturi, which I've used many times before to increase airflow. Instead of a flat side panel, you've got a shaped charge coming into the carburetor, which increases flow. 